Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal Guys, and welcome back to another review, which comes to you by way of a Patreon request for the band Cold Dead Crows, the song number three. Uh, I have no expectation. I really don't know what to expect from this band. I've never heard of them before. For those who are fans of the band, just do be prepared. I tend to express myself 100%. I try to keep it respectful because I do it more for the sake of conversation, how I personally feel about the music, rather than an outright criticism of an artist, which I think is just not necessary and see how we feel about the music and have interesting discussions. That being said, let's get into the reaction, and if you enjoy that kind of style of reactions, make sure to subscribe down below for more. You know, right off the bat, I'm kind of surprised. The first first reaction surprised. Um, there's a lot of modern metal elements in here. I say this a lot, and I'm sorry, guys, but that's the first thing that comes to my head. There's a lot of modern extreme kind of metal elements in there where I think it's quite groovy right off the bat. That's something that I enjoy. I like the production. It sounds a little bit different. Uh, maybe perhaps a slightly muted. But the songwriting so far is actually quite varied. There's two different vocal styles. Whether I like it or not, I'm going to refrain from saying that, honestly, because it's too early of an impression for a song like this. So sometimes something grabs you right away with a main hook, where here I, I feel like it's going to progress a lot, and I have a, a suspicion it might change as the song evolves. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. You know what it is? I'm listening to it, and the song is changing, and there is variety in it. But something is a little bit off-putting to me, personally. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a mixture of some of the stuff, like something like Anathema and Dark Tranquility, um, Dream Theater would do back in their heyday. Then, again, mixed in with a more extreme, like a heavier element that's more something purple from like something like orbit culture for example and it's kind of being mashed together into this song but even this early into the song <clears throat> forgive me it doesn't seem like it's jiving very well in a sense that you want to hear some kind of a vision for a song in the place that it's going to and it seems to be treading around the same like walking around the same block as of now for me not to mention, like, the main riffing, despite being very varied, hasn't, like, I'm not here or there about it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Show. 
Honestly, this is the first part of the song that I actually like. Uh, up to this point, my kind of feeling was that it's taking something they're inspired by, but not doing it as well. And then this ending part here, this transition to a fast part, it sounds just sonically pleasing. It sounds good. It sounds heavy. It sounds fast. Uh, it has the aggressive kind of tone to it. But um, it might be just one of those cases where it's just not for me. And I, I don't, I just, I don't jive with it. You know, it's like, you're not going to like every movie. You're not going to like every album that you listen to. And I don't, I'm not going to put down the merits of this band really, because one man's treasure is another man's trash. I really believe into that. Uh, I try to be as open mind to understand like, why would somebody like this? And perhaps maybe some of the progressions and the flows. But personally speaking, like, I, I feel like I've heard this done better. And even something like Architects, I think like Architects is very close in stylistic approach to this, but I, I would pick that band over this like any day of the week. I do have to say that his vocals in this ending part are really nice. I like his kind of slight raspiness that he's putting on the vocals. And the music here is pretty cool. Uh, that's like the, the part, like, you know, the ending part, I would say the second part, half of the song is much better than the first part. It's one of those instances, I say this quite a few times, and I think sometimes people misunderstand me when I say something is too long. Uh, it's not because I'm impatient. Like, you know, there could be a 15-minute song that feels short, and it can be a short song that feels too long, like it overstays its welcome. And I think it's in the case of this song, it just goes on for five and a half minutes almost, and really doesn't go to many places and repeats itself a lot and does have an interesting transition, which it itself repeats a lot. This there's not a lot of technicality going on. Uh, the biggest kind of takeaway technically is, be the, I would say, the vocals and the variety in vocals. There's the soft, there's this kind of raspy, then there's like the harsher vocals. From the instrument standpoint, again, not to again repeat myself, but like you, you can find a band that does this better. Uh, and in a sea of albums, 
in the thousands that get released per year, you, you are fighting for people's attention, right? You want to grab the person's attention, be the one that they listen to. And for me, like if I was listening to this on my own, I probably would have clicked off at two minutes. Like I probably would have been like, yeah, this is just, I'm not going to jive with it. I'm not going to click with it. Um, I, I want something special, something different, or something at least that's going to hook me. It doesn't have to be necessarily different, special, or even like groundbreaking, but just has to hook me, something like Electric Callboy does. Uh, they're very aware of what they're doing, and yes, they're breaking some new ground in the terms of electronic and heavy metal, but at the same time, they're quite simplistic in their song structure, and they know that, and that's kind of their jam and what they do. And they have this unique vision of what they are, where here, I am not really sure if they're trying to be kind of like a doom metal band, if they're trying to be more of a like a hardcore extreme metal band, if they're trying to be a melodic death metal. It seems like they're trying to pull from different formulas or different genres or different sounds into one. And I would argue that it's not done very successfully. Yeah, pause right at the end, apparently. But let me know what you guys think of this particular song. If you disagree with me, and if you do, why? Like, what, what's the reason for your liking? What, what really attracts you to this band? What pulls you to this band? Uh, perhaps maybe some of the sound that you've never heard before. It's just something that you really, really like in the genre, like the way they mash things together. I would love to hear from you guys. You know, I, I read majority of the comments on this channel, and I try to respond to as many as I can, because... I think it's interesting to go back and forth, especially when I find an interesting point that I, I want to respond to. That being said, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, and most of all, keep it metal.